Coming up next, it's a heavyweight matchup between John Jones and Tyron Woodley. All right, so here's the former UFC welterweight champion. They also call him the chosen one, Tyron Woodley. Knocked out Robbie Lawler in 2016 to first win the belt, held it for several years, and still has the credentials as one of the best 170-pound fighters on this roster. A-plus athlete is Tyron Woodley, a guy that can explode into his strikes and into his takedowns like no one we've ever seen before. The way that he backpedaled and then knocked out Jay Heron was unbelievable. The way that he just flatlined Josh Koscheck was crazy. He has a right hand that you do not want to be on the receiving end of. Tyron Woodley is truly a special, special fighter. He has had some issues injury-wise with that right hand. He told us before the fight, 100% coming in tonight. When you punch that hard, John, right. you're going to have some problems with the right hand. I cannot speak to that, but I will <laughs> take your word for it. John's got power. A little power. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans and the Rampage Jacksons, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well. In terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jones is 33, Woodley is 38. Jones weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Woodley. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, my fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. Jones gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. And they separate. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, elbow up top by Jones. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer in. Oh! Oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by the chosen one. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. defense there. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking at? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Oh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon in the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Jones is right back to the full mount. I mean, how many can he take? Lands the ground and pound strike. 15 seconds. Relentless pressure from the top by Johnny Bone. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, 
He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Folks, round two, Johnny okay, round Bones two. Jones Let's go, guys, versus fight. Tyron Woodley. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. 50 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones and landing with 53% accuracy tonight against Tyron Wood. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Spinning back fist. Single collar tie here. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. He's throwing bombs every time they come into contact. He's throwing bombs. Jones gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, Jones gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Wood. Big power shot there. And they separate. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, spinning back fist. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Wood. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And now he's got the tie clinch. Kicks down, the kick's down. Under two minutes to go in the round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. Put him down. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Switching stances here. Big punch lands. Ooh. Back to Orthodox. What a wrestler. That and this might just be a out. matter of time. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 60 seconds to go in round two. Jones is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Jones is looking to pass 
face here, denied by the opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of the fight. Jones's pass attempt denied. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Wood. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Jones has got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh. He has a turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes, he takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, John Jones! Jones! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.